excuse me, right handed. Right -handed. John Singleton takes a call third strike. So Singleton down looking. First out here in the second inning. Take Jordan against anybody. Oh, that's not close. That is not a only 21 years old. So they have sprinkled in some young stars. That's the key to the lineup. You know, and that's the key, and that's what we're trying to do in our organization too. We're trying to find the young kids that we can come up here. They can add a jolt, add some energy. Like Wyatt Langford grounded to Gray Kessinger his first time up. The Astros could use a ground ball at somebody here. There's a strike on the outside edge, one and two. This kid is a he looks like a pretty good little hitter. Um, I watched him play in college and he's got he's got good movement with his bat right there. He's when he does that with his hand and he kind of Here's Jose Altuve with a 1-0 count. Oh, it's good to have you back in the booth. I know you watch every game. I do. I watch every game. It's been tough to watch lately, to be honest with you. It's been tough to call. The team's yeah, been I getting know. down early. Well, and that puts yes. a lot of pressure on it the guys. It sure does. Offensive. The guy hits a whatever mm -hmm. slider out for him. He goes, well, i got to throw it again because I, I don't want it. He got, he's not going to think that's coming. Uh, but a changeup's a different story. Now he takes a cutter. Tuck didn't like the call for a strike, 1-1. The Anderson strikes zone. So there's another first pitch strike. We've now seen three out of four first pitch strikes, but it's eight out of 22 in the game, and that's not yeah. that's not going to bode well for. But the if moment. you get the if you get the first pitch, the eight and 94. Yeah. And that's why they ended up having the number four overall pick in the draft, and ended up getting. The guy at the plate now, Wyatt Langford, who has got a 2 1 count. Yeah, I, I don't feel like going 69 and whatever that no. number was. No. 68 so, and 94. Yeah, I don't, we don't, you don't need the number. We don't need to know that. We, we already went through that. There's been a. Yeah. That was a. Angel Hernandez diff. is helping out here a little bit. The 2 0 and the 2 1 pitch both off the plate. Yeah, they were, I mean, they were in between the white lines. That's what you would call strike. Yeah, well, I mean. Now that you're up here. Yeah. Well, yeah. If, if I was hitting, no, I wouldn't really be happy with that, especially with the beta load and one out. Wow. 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 Those last three were all yeah, off that's, the plate. That's how we used to hit in the '90s. To Wyatt Langford's <laughs> credit, he doesn't say one word. No, he can't. And you didn't back then either. But in today's world. <laughs> yeah, he said, he said it, but he said it to himself. In and out, the Astros have had Miguel Diaz up, and then he was sent sent down, and then released, basically. And then same thing with Wander Suero. Yeah, Suero was option. It and makes no sense to me. Suero was option initially, but then they needed a roster spot because Mashinsky was going to be down tonight. Well, which has been great. Mm. Oh, it's hard to really get upset. With that call, because Wyatt Langford and others for the Rangers have had yeah. that call go against them, but it's a hitter. You hate to see that call to strike. Want to know the count to Yiner Diaz? Wow. That part of the plate's just wide, wide, wide. And yeah, and pitchers might as well live out there. I would throw it out there every single time. Why wouldn't you? Why would you ever even throw a ball on the plate right now? And they're not on the corners. There's they're a full couple of balls off the plate, and it's been on both sides. Oh, it has. So if I'm a pitcher, and this is what I do for a living, throw pitches, I am throwing the ball out there. <laughs> and try to keep that. Yeah. Kind of like what JP did to Langford. Yeah, why not? If you're going to call it, I'm going to stay out there. Two, one pitch. Could have been a strike, but missed the top of the zone. It's three and one. Heim held it there for a beat. He's like, Well, yeah, he said, well, if you at least should give me that too. I mean, I don't blame you can give me the other one. Let's see if Yiner can do some damage here on a three one pitch. He doesn't throw many fastballs, but he might be forced to here. Walsh 0 for three, a couple of strikeouts tonight. He was the first batter Kuno face in the fifth inning.
2 0 the count. That outside edge for lefties hasn't been called like the outside edge for righties. No. Which is the zone tonight. Yeah, but like we've talked about before, when you're so used to dialed yeah. in and what it's supposed to be, it's very hard to kind of tell yourself that you got to cover that when you're not used to it. That could have been a strike. Three and oh. <laughs> that, hey, that could have been a strike. That could have. Could have been. It could have. It wasn't. No. I think this is the last year. Now uh, Yiner Diaz the batter. Yiner one for three. Now Jake Myers has been on base the last two times. Takes one for a strike. Going one. That's the pitch that's been a strike for both sides tonight. A lot of innings along with Brandon Belak and those are thankless innings but it sets up the rest of your bullpen to be able to have